Good day everyone. Our topic for today is all about IR tester or they call layman's term Megar tester. Megar is a company but in our case our, the maker of our instrument is Fluke and I will share to you how to use this hand crank analog IR tester compared to the digital tester. Okay, before we start, I show you, uh, show you and I share to you how to use this IR. Brief instruction only, this is the black, connect to the ground, means ground for the motor. Example, we test the motor and then IR, only one one connection, because example line 1, line 2 or line 3. If that is connected to delta or Y, example the delta is connected like this, the common, common bridge for the delta that you can see in the terminal ter terminal box for the motor it's like this then line 1 line 2 line 3 that is delta or 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 other connection is the y this one this is the bridge then line 1 line 2 line 3 that is for the y or the stop this is the connection for the y and then this is for the delta okay if you set 500 volts 500 volts in our digital fluke tester test like this sample in line 1 connected if the result is 0 it means there is a ground on your winding towards the body of the motor and then you need to separate all of these uh, connectors if the connection is delta same like this if the connection is y remove the connection so that you can test each of the windings if 550 meg ohms that is the highest result if the setting is 500 for our fluke digital monitoring IR monitor means there is no no winding touches the body of the touches the body of the motor your insulation is very good Okay, this is the analog hand crank IR tester at 500 volts and then the range is infinity to zero. But the maximum reading is 500 mega ohms. That is the model and there is no maker. Maybe the Chinese, Chinese wordings. The black is E, earth or ground, L is the line to check this hand crank hand crank IR tester if this is working you need to separate these two probes and then we will check it must be at the maximum read, uh, read out if the two if the two probes are separate must be maximum the readout must be maximum so that so that we guarantee this uh, instrument that is totally working as you can see this is old school but it is working and then connect the two rods or the two test probe then as you crank it as you can see the reading is zero okay this IR tester is also real uh, the reading is reliable again separate the two connectors the readout is greater than 500 mega ohms means this unit is good okay let's go to the loop 1507 this is very easy to use there is also a test button at the meter then ohmmeter voltmeter that is the range for our IR test okay that is the button at the probe there is a test and also at the meter there is a test that is the same button okay 
500 volts range 500 volts set to 500 volts press the test button that if the two leads are separate 550 meg and then connect 0 meg it means short time okay you can also use the test button at the meter zero when the two leads are connected if separate 550 meg how about 1000 volts okay that is the range 1000 volts zero meg two leads are connected okay that's it that is only how to test the ohmmeter change the the red one put the at the left side there is a ohm ohm sign and then you can connect the red one okay if two leads are connected zero ohms means that two leads are okay okay also there is a backlight okay i hope you get some idea or learn from it and thank you very much don't forget to like share and subscribe don't forget to hit the bell for more updates thank you for your support safe